we li we're live? Hey everybody, this is Bobby Clue, Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we are in Burnside for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings. I'm here with Michael Hampton, Lake Cumberland Recovery. Uh, excited to be out on a Friday. So always like to start out out in front of the business to give you a little frame of reference. So we're in Burnside, Kentucky. We are right next to the Burnside post office. And uh, again, I always like to tell people, Michael, the reason that we're doing this is very simple. In about mid-March to April, you know, the world changed a little bit and we simply could not do in-person ribbon cuttings anymore. So we decided to adapt to the situation and we started doing ribbon cuttings virtually. It took off and we started receiving thousands of views on these videos and we were able to connect with our community, with our business community. We never stopped doing that. So fortunately, what happened was it was really popular. So we're gonna keep doing it. So we're gonna do an in-person uh, ribbon cutting here in just a little while, but I wanted to introduce everybody. Uh, Michael, thanks for taking the time. I know you're super busy. Um, tell us a little bit about Lake Cumberland Recovery. Well, Lake Cumberland Recovery uh, is a 30 to 40 day uh, treatment center. Uh, it's a men's center. Uh, it is actually RCT level care. It's a residential treatment. Uh, we take people right after detox, or if they don't need detox, we help them help them through the program. Uh, we have a, a trained staff that's out of this world. Uh, we have clinical directors, uh, Christy Conrad, which she is uh, Christy Paul. Yeah, we call her Conrad. She's our uh, clinical director. She does an amazing job with the, the staff, and uh, we have a, a doctor on staff. We have. Uh, we also have an RN on staff uh, and another uh, actually counselor on staff. So we have professional staff all day long. Uh, we have groups, we have peer support. Uh, it is an awesome, awesome program uh, for people that really struggle with alcohol addiction, drug addiction, because uh, it, it's just such a need for the community. Uh, a little bit how I got started is uh, I've been in recovery for the last 25 years of my life, uh, uh, methamphetamines, uh, uh, just about whatever I can get my hands on. So. This is kind of just my heart, my passion, uh, just to give back, to help. Uh, so that's kind of what we do. We just kind of wing people back to health. Uh, we kind of teach people how valuable they are, how, how important they are, and how their uh, choices don't define who they are. Uh, a lot of people make some bad choices, which we all do. We just kind of uh, like to love on people here. That's a little bit different approach than a lot of different places uh, because we believe in love and, and grace and just winging them back to health, you know, if that makes sense. Well, uh, would you care? Can we go inside real yes, quick? Yes. I know it's a little noisy out. Why don't we go inside and take a look at everything? Come on, guys. kind of the way we met in recovery a, a few years back uh, going through a program kind of similar to this we taught recovery dynamics there and we also teach them here uh, but he is our director and I'll just introduce him you want to say something yeah sure uh, that was an awesome opportunity like this has been to come in and and, and help uh, Michael you know reach his vision and and and, and, and just uh, man reach out to those around his in in this community in his community i think it's a powerful thing for for a man um, who has done so much damage and and has been through so much uh drug addiction and hurting those around him to come back into his own community and, and make such a difference here so it's just a, a really powerful thing to be a part of very thankful um, and like Michael was saying, that man, we really, we really do take it seriously, just to love on people and love them back to life. You know, um, as as a as an ex addict, um, you know, <coughs> a lot of times in life, it's 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 been you know, people look at you and say, oh, you're always going to be that guy. You're always going to, uh, you know, they always judge you by your your past or or by your by your court record or um, by the things that you've done. And so it's different here um, because we try not to beat people down because we know that their futures can change. Uh, and, and man, it's just a powerful thing and what an awesome opportunity it's been. Can, can I ask you guys a few questions? Yeah. So I, I have a lot. And you know, I, I've always, listen, our chamber is, you know, 
huge advocates of what you do, and I firmly believe that everybody deserves a second chance. I think it's foolish to not look at the world that way. Um, where do most of the, the men that are here, where do they come from? Do they come straight here from jail? Do they come from somewhere else? Where do they usually come from? We do have a few court orders, but for the most part, uh, it's people that just really want. They want. They volunteer to be yeah, they want. They want treatment. Uh, so it's, it sets a good atmosphere because uh, we've got a bunch of guys trying to uh, do the same thing and, and to encourage each other and to help each other. So most of the people here, are, they're all volunteers. They, they don't, like I said, there's only a few court orders here. And just because they really want something different, and so that's and, kind of what we and, do. And how many uh, people can you have here in the in the house? This this is a real small facility. Uh, we have 16 beds. Uh, we usually stay pretty full with the waiting list of one or two people on it. You know, different times, but it usually only takes uh, a day or two to get in because it, it is so uh, quick to get in and out. But we do offer a lot of outpatient and aftercare for for later because it's really important. The biggest thing to do is getting connected to the recovery community here in Somerset. It's pretty awesome, and there's a lot of uh, sober livings and, and stuff that we're partnering with to really, it's just more than just, uh, well, 45 days and you're done. Yeah. No, now we introduce you to a, a different way of life. Tell me, you know, Michael, tell me a little bit about maybe, what are they learning here in those 45 days? I know that they're learning a lot about what to do after they leave here, I'm sure. So what, what are some of the things that you're, you know, teaching them? What are they learning when they leave here to keep, to keep sober? So our biggest thing is, is teaching them a, a different way of life, uh, letting them know that how valuable and how important they are, uh, letting them know that uh, that you can do anything you set your mind to. It. We teach them, the first thing we teach them is the two most powerful things you're ever going to say in your life is I can or I can't. And when you start believing in yourself, start saying I can do this, uh, your attitude change. Uh, we always say it's not based on what you do, it's based on what Christ did for you. And so we are a faith-based center, uh, but we don't push religion down anyone's throat. We kind of just let them... Uh, go at their own pace. If they accept it and they want it, if they choose to believe, that that's all on them. But we don't force it down. Uh, we just give it an approach. And like everyone around here is pretty much believers, so uh, that it's here if they want it. And if it's not, it's not drove down their throat. Uh, we are a twelve-step program. We teach recovery dynamics. Uh, so and that's that's a lot of facilities in the state of Kentucky teaches recovery dynamics. Uh, so we just kind of just love people back to health. So. Well, you know, one thing that um, you know when we went over and did a, a, a walk through with Skyhope recently. One thing I like to tell people, and I hope everybody listening hears this, is that, you know, every business that is a member of our chamber at some point has probably talked to us about the fact that they have a hard time finding employable people in this town. Yeah. And I look at what you guys are doing, when these guys are leaving here, you're looking at guys that can pass a drug test, that probably want to work really hard, they'll probably not show up on time, they'll probably show up early. <laughs> you know, they want to work. You've got people here. And, you know, I want to make sure that we connect with you guys, and I want everybody to hear that. You know, there's guys here, you know, there are employable people in this town that want to work. And this is another great opportunity here at Lake Cumberland Recovery <laughs> to find those employees. They want to have you know, a future. They want to have good jobs. And I, we're looking for these people all the time. And you know, what we hear daily is, I can't find anybody that can pass a drug test. Well, guys, <coughs> here they are. You know, this is the guys right here. So um, I'm assuming that when they leave here, you have some job reintroduction programs? Oh, or, yeah, we, <coughs> we definitely do. These masks are kind of killing me. Yeah, so. they're tough. No, oh, but we definitely do. We do a lot of aftercare. We see also on Hampshire Construction, which is... Uh, we only, <coughs> you might want to say, yeah, I can't really <laughs> yeah. If you need to pull it down and stand over there, let's do that. Yeah, I can't really bring that thing. I think I'm going to have a, a meltdown. You're over there. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, so here, we are actually own a construction company. I only work convicted felons and people being in recovery. And we have a real, real successful business. And we only use people like us. So uh, it is a very, very good opportunity for the public to hire people that are ex-felons or that's been through a drug addiction because once you get one of them sober, they're the most loyal, they're the best workers they are, uh, and I'm living proof of it. So, Well, let me ask you, so um, I, I know you mentioned earlier, uh, you know, uh, a little bit about your contact. How do people get a hold of you here in town? Do they, is that, uh, is there ways that people can help? I think you said that that's kind of limited because of the way yeah. you guys are set up. So, so we are uh, actually, uh, we are insurance based, so we do take any kind of Medicaid. We're a network with about every insurance company uh, in the United States. So we can, uh, 
we, we, we take anyone just as they are. Uh, they're not required to have insurance when they come in. We help them through the whole process. Uh, so that is one good thing that we don't, uh, we just take them in. And then we figure it out once they get here. Uh, sometimes uh, that works out good for us and, and then sometimes it don't. Sometimes, uh, uh, you know, we have grace beds and, and we just take people right where they are uh, needing the help. Uh, so that's how, kind of one How thing. long have you guys been here, Lake Carmel in Recovery, how long have you guys been in helping our community now? Uh, since June 1st, we started. Uh, and we brand new. Brand new facility, yeah. This used to be actually my home, and then we made it into a, a rehab. Uh, this is where I actually sold dope out of for years and years. Uh, this house has uh, been through a lot. Uh, so uh, it's kind of our heart and passion to give back to the community. I, I, I can also say I've probably run so many lives in, in, my, in my time growing up and uh, with the drug addiction for 20 years. Uh, so now we just kind of open it up to, to do something totally different. We are an ALDE licensed facility in the state of Kentucky. Uh, so we are uh, licensed to do this and we do have a very, very professional staff. Uh, everyone here uh, is, is trained, uh, our peer supports. Everybody here was handpicked for their positions because the recovery community, it, it's, it's, it's so important to, to people to understand. Uh, the, the, it, we always say it's about client care. Uh, so it's if you can take care of the client, uh, so that's what we really, really do. Just really just let them wing them back to health. Uh, Where well, there's cameras here, and it's only for the it's for protection of the clients and also protection of employees, uh, because we want to make sure that everyone's doing their job effectively. Sure. Do they have roles while they're here with you for 45 days? Do they have roles here in the house? Uh, yes, they actually, keeping it clean. Yeah, or, there's actually a, a chore list right over there, but you you can see that the place is clean, it's white spotless. It's, it's absolutely yeah. spotless. And so, and that's what we do. You know, just kind of there's not a lot you can do in 45 days, uh, but you, you do kind of teach them you know, a routine and, and to sure. get up on time, to be on class on time, and uh, they're usually in class six hours a day. Uh, do and, you teach them any sort of financial literacy while they're yeah, here? Yeah, I actually do that myself usually because mm -hmm. of uh, you know being out of prison for six years. Uh, you know, having a successful structuring company and now open up an ALD licensed facility in the state of Kentucky. And I've learned really how to work numbers. Uh, so that's one thing I'm kind of gifted at. Um, there's not many people that walks out of a, a prison in six years and, and uh, be able to open up something like this without using a lot of knowledge and, and a lot of numbers. Uh, so I teach them financially, you know, uh, how, how to do that. It's important. Uh, yeah, how to build credit and how to, you know, not take advantage of the situation, sure. and how to keep it under a certain rate. and. Uh, just because you got it, don't mean you spend it. And just have to have open a yeah. bank account for the yeah, first right, time. Right. A lot of people, you know. So, uh, it, what you do here is special, Michael. And I want to thank you for. First of all, I want to thank you for being a member of the chamber. It's important to me, and I appreciate it. And you know, we're here to support you guys. As I've said many times, I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. And what you're doing here is your your practice and what you preach, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, you're really giving back to this community and we appreciate it. And and I guess you'll you put on post our intake name. We've got an intake number that you can call it 606-341-1160 or you can Google let come on recovery. Uh, it should pop right up. Uh, we did So intakes, what tell me the number again? 606-341-1160. And that's if if you want to if reach want, out for help. Yeah, if you want treatment, uh, if we're always here the phone's pretty much always open. Uh, we only have one person on staff and the phone calls at a time so uh, leave a message they'll get back to you uh, pretty much immediately uh, we do stay pretty full but there's people leaving all the time uh, so just just keep in touch and, and we'll probably get you in in a day or so yeah. uh, there's uh, there's a lot of times we try to get people in right when like right now we have an open bed and it, if someone calls today they're coming in today if someone calls tomorrow they're coming in tomorrow we're going to get them in the door because uh, people's lives are dependent on it well it's not unheard of but maybe today's the day somebody's hearing this right now and today's the day they want help, Michael. Yeah. You know, you never know. So it's great to give people that opportunity. And, and again, I just want to say thank you. Yes, thank you. For everything that you do. Guys, again, we're down here in Burnside, Kentucky at Lake Terminal and Recovery. We're right next door to the Burnside Post Office. Right next door, big white house. This is where Lake Terminal uh, Recovery is located at. Michael Hampton, the president, CEO, head yeah, honcho. I don't know about that. Uh, he's a great guy. Actually, just look, Michael and I went to school together. He's been a good guy his whole life. And I'll tell you what, I, I understand you had your struggles, but mm -hmm. what you're doing now is special, and I appreciate it. So, guys, thanks for uh, staying tuned. We're going to do more of these. Uh, we're going to keep this as an indefinite part of what we do here at the Chamber, just because 
We understand some people don't want to get out right now, and that's okay. If you're at home, if you're in front of your computer at the office, here's a great chance for you to still learn about wonderful organizations in our community. So what Michael and I are going to do right now is we're going to go round up some people, and we're going to go outside, and we're going to do a ribbon cutting in person. So again, thank everybody. Appreciate you guys very much. Have a wonderful Labor Day weekend, and be safe out there, guys. Thank you very much.